Hey guys, Jesse here, Fender's Mobile Detailing. Welcome back to another video. Um, maybe you're wondering where I am right now, although the title and thumbnail probably gives it away. Uh, I've been hinting at it in the last couple videos and here we finally are. So, without further ado, welcome to my new shop. So, um, I'll give you the quick rundown here. Uh, and again, sorry, like we audio might be pretty bad it's a pretty bad echo in here when I got the doors shut but uh, yeah it's about a thousand square foot shop um, really just a big long rectangle a little narrow but it's not too bad um, and then just this wall has the two doors on it real big door um, but yeah so I'm super excited like I started my own business four months ago really four and a half months ago uh, not knowing really where it would take me but I Never thought that four months in I'd be ready to invest in, in leasing a shop, but uh, here we are and I couldn't be more excited. So yeah, purpose for this, um, obviously as you know, like I'm a mobile detailer and you can't really do mobile detailing uh, in the winter. Like I'm from Canada and it gets cold. Um, and I've, I've, I did look into a little bit uh, getting like a heated water system for the trailer, but uh, it just wasn't practical. I didn't think that I just couldn't justify it for the, the, the workload that I think I might have. Um, but yeah, so that's when this came in. So found this shop and they don't really come up that often. And when, you, when they do, they're gone in a hurry. And so I pulled the trigger on it real quick and, and it's awesome. So I got it about two weeks ago. Um, so it's nice, like I can pull the trailer in here um, overnight now because it's getting pretty cold overnight and just not that I think it's quite freezing yet, but you never know. I just don't want to risk uh, having anything freeze in the trailer and wreck my pressure washer or blow the line up or whatever it might do. So yeah, store the trailer in here overnight, which is awesome. But once it starts to get real cold outside, um, I'll transition to working out of here full time, uh, which is really, really exciting. So um, as you can tell, I'm like a little bit set up in here. Like I want to keep, I don't want to fill it with too much because I obviously want to have um, vehicles in and out um, and so you can actually fit three vehicles in here um, and have, have space to work on all of them so you can kind of fit one like if you start them both up the drain here you can fit two side by side here and here and have space to get around both of them um, and then uh, one back here again um, and then again you'd have plenty of space like the shops 45 to 50 feet long, I haven't actually measured it. But um, yeah, so it's plenty long to be able to fit a vehicle this way and a vehicle this way, although the camera's making it look a little more crammed in here, I promise. It is, uh, I can't fit three, no problem. But yeah, so I've had it about two weeks. Um, as you can see, it's pretty uh, grimy. <laughs> like the door is pretty bad and some of the walls, like the floor is just um, brutal. So that's what, uh, oops, sorry. That's what we're gonna be tackling in today's video. So I actually went to Canadian Tire um, and picked up some of this stuff here, which is liquid chlorine, chlorinating liquid. Um, I did some research online and uh, apparently that stuff, like it's actually pool cleaner, but apparently you dilute it 50-50 with water and spray it on the walls and you let it sit for a bit, and then some of this stuff will just come right off. Apparently, I don't know, we'll see. Um, that's what we're gonna do, like I'm gonna do the, the, the walls, the floors, I'm gonna do everything. Like I don't know, I don't know how well it's gonna work, I hope it's gonna work really well. These walls were pressure washed already with a hot pressure washer. I don't know if you can kind of see like this wall here is definitely a lighter color than this one if I put it in the corner there. I don't know if the camera really shows that, I think it does. So this back wall wasn't pr pressure washed just because of the electrical panels up here and uh, I guess the guy was afraid he might wreck something. And so, I don't know, I am gonna do the back wall. I'll flip the breakers off and whatever, open the door for light and uh, just kind of be careful. I won't spray too close to that maybe. Um, but yeah, and then the bathroom too. There's a little bathroom in the corner um, and it's like, it's bad. like. Like this sink, like I've cleaned this sink many times and it's, that's as clean as it gets. It's, it's pretty bad. So, and like, I mean, I get it. So the previous, the previous uh, renter of the shop was an older guy. He had 
a transport truck, so he parked his truck in here when he wasn't driving it. He worked on his truck in here, hence like all the oil and crap on the floors and whatever. Like I get it, it's a it's a industrial shop. It's gonna get dirty. But uh, for me, like I'm a detailer, right? I'm cleaning cars, so I wanna have a clean workspace and I, I don't really want to have things that make me dirty because I'm, you know, counterproductive, right? And so like, for example, this desk came with the shop and it was so bad, like I had to, I, I painted it because it was just, it was so dirty, I couldn't get it clean. <laughs> and so, like it's not perfect, but it's, it looks nice. I just found that chair on Facebook Marketplace, but whatever. And then like a garbage can, the guy left his garbage can, but like you touch it and your hands get dirty. And I can't really, can't really do that. So I went and got a new garbage can. Um, and other than that, like, shelf came with it and I painted that because it was filthy. This did not. I went out again, Facebook Marketplace, love it. Uh, 125 bucks I paid for this and it's got like, it's nice, I like it. It came with a little um, power bar. Uh, you can plug all your charges in, whatever, and then it's got a couple lights up here. I plug these in. Uh, I think I'm out of range. I gotta move that, but yeah, those lights work. It's a nice little bench. Just happy with that find. Um, but yeah, so I am going, what I'm going to do is, uh, get set up here. I'll put you guys on the time lapse. I think I'm going to move everything like the shelf and all that. I'll put everything over with the desk and then I'll do this back wall and up the side a little bit. And then I'll move everything over into, uh, that corner and then do the rest of the shop. Um, we'll see how this goes. I don't know. I'm um, really, I'm hopeful, like I want it to come nice and clean, even the, the floors and all that, like it'd be sweet to get this nice and clean, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, I'm going to put you guys on time lapse and I'll get to work. everything uh, moved off this back wall obviously except the hose um, it's also like filthy dirty I bought a replacement for this because again can't like I touch it and my hands get dirty and not very helpful when you're trying to clean things so yeah I'm going to uh, maybe I'll plug that light in to these two outlets and then I'll start flipping breakers to see uh, which one controls that and I'll leave those make sure those outlets are unplugged not that I'm gonna spray right at them anyways, but uh, still I think it'd just be helpful. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to get my um, pump sprayer that I just got. So it's just a little, I should have pulled it out of the box, but yeah, fill that half with my um, liquid chlorine, which will honestly be that whole bottle. I didn't really think that through and half with water and pump it up and spray it. And uh, we'll see how far that gets us. I might, I, maybe I should have got more of those, but we'll see. Um, yeah, here we go. All right, so uh, slight change of plans here. So I was going to use um, this here pressure washer. Uh, I was gonna spray the liquid chlorine stuff on the wall, let it sit and then pressure wash it off. Figured I can run that hose up to this pressure washer. And then I realized that, wait a minute, no, I don't have a freaking, like, gun, like a pressure washing wand and, and hose to come out. Like something for me to spray out of uh, for this pressure washer. What this, like, this is a gas pressure washer. It, um, Simonized 3000 PSI. It's a Kaler 6.5 horsepower, Kohler 6.5 horsepower engine. Um, I got this, like, I didn't even want a gas pressure washer. Um, it was actually like, I was having trouble finding fittings for my pressure washer. And so I went to Canadian Tire to try to find some fittings. And I was using this pressure washer to test, like to make sure I had the right fittings, like to see if I could get it to work on this one. Cause then I thought I could get it to work on mine. Um, and anyway, so the guy that was helping me at, at uh, Canadian Tire said like, well, do you want this pressure washer? And I said, well, I don't know, I don't, I don't really need it. And he's, he said, uh, well, this one, like he meant like the floor model, the one that they had for show. He said, I could probably sell you this one for a real good deal. And well, I went, how good of a deal? And he ended up getting me like 
close to 70% off this thing. It's an $800 pressure washer and I got a steal of a deal on it. So I, I figured I'd buy it and if I don't have a use for it, I could sell it again. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do. I've used it once, like it's brand new. Um, but yeah, I don't have a hose for it because it's the floor model, so I didn't get everything that came with it. So um, what I'm going to do instead is uh, I got my truck and trailer outside here. So what I am going to do is open the door and run my pressure washer out of the trailer um, to, uh, yeah, to get going on the, um, the walls after, like to rinse off all the chlorine after I put it on. So I'm gonna get that all set up, throw you guys a time lapse, and we'll see how this back wall turns out. confused. Seeing that time lapse there I kind of did this whole wall um, and a bit of the floor I did just like from the bathroom out like this little section of floor here um, and I did the whole bathroom. But yeah so like you can see like the floor is still dirty there's lots of rust and whatever on the floor. Um, but you can see um, up there you see how it's like spotty so that those spots are where I sprayed the stuff. But then when I came back through with the pressure washer, like I, that's all that, like I couldn't get the stuff in between off. So that's really strange. Like up there, like that, it worked really good, but only directly where I sprayed the stuff. Maybe I should check the spray wand to see if there's like a, to see if there's a setting on there to make it more of a fan so it covers the whole wall rather than spots like that. I don't know. And I think, yeah. I am going to wear uh, some gloves or something from now on because I think it is pretty strong stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I was hoping it would do a bit better a job of this stuff and it isn't. So I don't know. Maybe I should just try it on like a real bad spot over here and see if it, you know what, that's what I'll do. I'll just do a little spot test right here and see if that gets better. Um, and if it doesn't, then I'm not going to waste my time doing the whole freaking shop. But it should work based on that. I don't know. We'll see. I'll keep going here. So as you guys saw there, sprayed some on, waited a bit and sprayed it off. I'm only waiting maybe 45 seconds. Um, maybe that's not enough. So then, yeah, it didn't really work at all. It didn't do anything. So then I sprayed some just general like degreaser on it. Um, and that helped a little bit, but I, I took a brush to it there. Um, as you can see that spot I brushed off. But like I brushed on that little spot for 45 seconds maybe. Well. I don't know, maybe it wasn't that long, maybe 30 seconds, but for me to, like, I, I, that would be days to do this whole shop, especially, like, would I really do it in places like that where it's only bad in spots? Like, I don't know. So what I did there, like, you saw at the end of the time lapse there, I just sprayed some stuff on. Um, so I'm just going to let it sit for, like, a good five minutes and then spray it off and see what that does. Um, but, yeah, this isn't going quite like I hoped or planned, so... Um, I don't know, yeah, I don't know, like this, now, now I'm starting to think maybe this wall does look better than it did before, like I, I don't know, it's hard to tell, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see, I, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, we'll see how this turns out and go from there. Yeah, so this is not quite going like I planned, like that really didn't do a lot, so um, I don't know, I'm going to come back over here. I did figure out how to make the sprayer shoot more of a fan, like a mist, than, uh, than straight, like a straight shot. 
So I'm gonna climb up on a ladder and spray all the top down because I do think this wall did come out a lot cleaner now that I look at it, and especially when I look up and see that. So I'm gonna try to fix that, see where that goes, and I don't know, go from there. Now I think we're getting somewhere. Hopefully the time lapse picked that up, but uh, you can see exactly where I stopped there. That kind of weird diagonal because I didn't want to go over top of, like get all the electrical panel all wet. So yeah, I stayed over there. So I don't think I've ever, I don't know how I'd ever clean that, but worry about that later. Um, it definitely looks better, but now you can see the like spots where maybe I focus more with the fire washer, like it was closer and then it wasn't or whatever. Um, obviously like I'm doing more staring at my walls now than anyone ever is going to. Um, but like, I'm trying to decide if that looks better. It's definitely cleaner. Um, but yeah, it's got like light and dark spots all over the place and whatever. And it'd be near impossible to get every little spot. I'd be doing it for days and days and days. So, um, I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah, that definitely looks better though. Definitely makes that corner look more gross than it used to. Um, I even did a bit onto this wall, which halfway through I wish I wouldn't have, so I could see the difference in the two walls, but uh, whatever, I don't know. I do think it's a lot cleaner, so we'll see. I'm gonna keep going for a bit and see how far I get today. Well, this is um, working, but uh, taking forever. So as you can see at the end there, I grabbed this little brush and uh, went to town. Sorry guys, I'm freaking gassed from doing that. But yeah, I mean, it's it works awesome, but like, am I gonna really cover every square foot of the shop with this? Like that probably was, hmm. 15 minutes worth of work. So if you take that spot, like how many, you know, like it's all up to the door on this side. This side's not as bad. It's still like not great, but I'm probably not gonna touch it because of how long this is taking me. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of committed now though, because I can't leave it like that. That looks ridiculous. Oh boy. This is going to be a lot of work. And then the other problem, like I'm, yeah, I'm definitely not going all the way up there. It definitely doesn't look as bad up there as it does down here. Um, and I'm just not gonna take the time to do that. That would be silly. Um, but uh, yeah, my goodness, this is, um, this is a lot of work. It's gonna take a while. So uh, yeah, we'll see how much more I can get done today. Um, this is definitely going to be a, um multi multi-day project for sure but uh yeah we'll keep going okay took a step back i looked at it i looked around the shop and i decided that really i mean this wall is the worst i know that the rest could use a cleaning but they're certainly not as bad like you don't look at that and go wow that wall is gross however that you do so i've decided i'm going to do from well, this wall from probably about this rack down. So I'm done under that rack. I just have a few. I'll come back and do the really bad spots after. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to carry this screw line here 
and go all the way from here out to the door and call it good. And that cleans up the worst part of the shop, like above the lights and stuff, not that bad. The back wall I did, so it's not that bad. That corner is a little bit, but it's not too bad. Uh, and then you come down this wall, it's not bad. It's a little worse down here, but again, not terrible. Um, so yeah, that's the game plan. We're gonna take care of this wall and call it at that. And if I ever want to um, do more in the future, I can. Like I said earlier, I'm not gonna have this place stuffed full of stuff. I need um, space to bring multiple customers' vehicles in um, and uh, space to you know, work around all of the vehicles that are in here. So I can't imagine putting too much more stuff in here. I know like in behind my desk here, I'm gonna have a fridge, um, maybe a microwave, not sure. Um, and this will, yeah, like coat rack, desk, fridge, whatever. That'll be my little whatever lunch, my lunch room over there. <laughs> and then the rest of the shop is all workspace. I have one little um, bench and one shelf and that should be all I need. Um, so yeah, it wouldn't be a lot of work to take everything out and, and do another wall or whatever, but that will be in the future. For now, I'm just gonna work my way forward on this wall. So, um, Oh, you can probably hear in my voice how excited I am about it. But, uh, yeah, I guess uh, nothing left to do but get to work. I'm certainly not going to get overly far um, today. Like, this will be days and days worth of work. Like, I'm not, I'm not spending a full day on this. I'm working an eight-hour day, nine-hour day, and then uh, coming back and doing this for an hour or two. So we'll see how far I get today. I'm running out of gas quick. But, um, yeah, get back after it. So I'm struggling a bit here just because like when you step back and look at it, it looks great. Like, wow, you know, but uh, when you get up close, like I'm missing so much stuff, you know, like, oh, it's just, but if I go back and get like, I still have freaking, I bet you that little section from the end of that, uh, from the end of the coat hook there, well, I went like across about six planks and then I was like, this is too tall. So I went down and then I went across. So that little section took like an hour. <laughs> and so like, I'm, I don't know, friggin' eight hours of work before I get out the door. And that's like, and that's little, it's, it's this much of the wall all the way out. And then the next section will look darker and look like crap and if I clean that like it's just like kind of never ending I'm definitely gonna carry the two um, screw lines all the way out and I'd love to come back and do the third one but we will see I don't know I think I'm gonna call it at that for now because I'm gassed and my arm sore and I have other things to do before I go home and it's already like 6 30 so We'll call it at that. Ah, uh, you know what? I am gonna pressure wash the floor, maybe? See, no, I'm not, because I'm just gonna get crap all over the floor when I do that. So, yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Once I'm done the wall, I am gonna pressure wash the floor and soak the acid on the floor for a bit, too. Um, yeah, what the heck? I got a bit more time. I'm gonna keep going, I think, because yeah, it's got to get done sometime, and I have time now, so I may as well do it. I mean, who knows when I'll be able to get back at this again. It might be a few days, so I'll throw you on the laps, and we'll get going again. A little more. I got it in me. So I decided to call it for the day. Didn't get much further. Um, you can see where I stopped right about there. So still quite a long ways to go. Um, 
Threw the trailer in here overnight. It's supposed to get cold again. Um, Got to be back here for 7.30 in the morning. Pick the trailer up and go. I'm working all day tomorrow. Don't think I'm going to be coming back here tomorrow. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, yeah. So, I'll pick this back up whenever, uh, whenever I get time to work on the wall again. But, there you have it, guys. We got a shop. Definitely need some some love, some cleaning up before we put her to full use, but here it is. Hope you're as excited as I am and a lot more to come. Thanks for watching guys, appreciate it. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.